I thought it would be really fun to show you what it's like to live in Las Vegas from a true local's perspective. So I figured we'd start with my horse, Freddy, because I haven't ridden him in so long. The weather's been horrible out here and I need to get a ride in. So I thought we'd start there. And since I'm a real estate agent, I figured we'd finish right here in the ridges and I'll give you a tour of my newest listing that I'm standing in front of. So Freddy first, let's go. Um, I board Freddy about 25 minutes from my house in Summerlin and we're going to be taking the 215 Beltway to the Jones exit. So we've been driving on the 215 Beltway for about five minutes now and we're approaching the exit of Lone Mountain Road. And I wanted to point out that Lone Mountain is a newer and actually the closest um, equestrian area to civilization. It's a newer custom home area that accommodates equestrian riding. And there's actually even a public equestrian park where you can ride your horse in a covered arena. Another thing that Lone Mountain is known for with locals is people like to climb to the peak of Lone Mountain. And once you make it there, if you do, you get 360 degree views of the entire Vegas Valley. So a lot of locals will go there and hike to the peak, or you can also walk, hike, jog, the base of the mountain and it takes about an hour to an hour and a half depending on your fitness level to complete that entire loop. Hey guys, so we finally made it to the ranch. I'm gonna go get Freddy started and I'll check back with you in a few. shedding oh my goodness it's like shedding time for you look at your fluff look at your fluff is going away Okay, now that Freddy's all ready to ride, I'm gonna go ahead and ride him. That should take me about one hour and we will pick back up and head over to that listing that I wanted to show you. that was fun now that i'm all done riding freddy and he's all put away safe and sound let's head over to the ridges and check out what's going on with my listing over there okay so we've made it back to the ridges let's go inside and check out what this house is all about Standing in front of this gorgeous home, 
in the ridges, it's 20 Skybird Court, and it's located in the Red Hawk community inside the guard gates of the ridges. The Ridges is conveniently located in Summerlin and can be accessed off of the 215 Beltway. There are three exits that can be used, which are the Sahara exits, the Town Center exit, and the Flamingo exit. There are two guard gates to access the Ridges from, and one is right next to DI, and the other one is right next to Flamingo. So depending on which side of the Ridges horseshoe you live in, you'll pick which gates you use to access your home the most. The Ridges has two association fees. One is the Summerlin South, and that's $55 a month. And depending on which gate you live in within the Ridges, that will set your HOA dues for the Ridges. In Red Hawk, we pay about $435 a month for HOA dues. With your HOA dues, the things that are included is a fitness center. It's called Club Ridges. There you can find group fitness classes, a gym, tennis courts, pickleball courts, two pools. There's a leisure pool and a lap pool as well. There's also one large park adjacent to Club Ridges and each individual gated community has a park within it as well. As you can see, the Ridges is very community focused and you can get all your health and fitness right behind the gates. There's even a walking trail that goes around the entire loop of the ridges and you can walk approximately three and a half to four miles without ever leaving the guard gates. We also have access to mountain biking trails and hiking trails in the mountains that the ridges are nestled up against. So that's another way that residents in the ridges can get their exercise and enjoy nature and the beauty that surrounds this beautiful community. The ridges is also known for being intertwined with the Bears Best Championship Golf Course and it lends to some of the most beautiful views that can be had within the ridges. So we are finally inside. It's much warmer in here than it is out there. It's been really unseasonably cold here in Las Vegas. All right, so let's get on to this house. I'm really excited to share this house with you because this house has been fully remodeled within the last three years. And as you can see, there's a lot of architectural design features in this home that make this house what it is. There's lots of indoor outdoor space that make this house an entertainer's dream. There's lots of flowing family entertaining space within the house as well. So I can't wait to share it with you. Let's go straight to the kitchen because I know you guys love to go straight to the kitchen. So let's go check that out and we will visit all of the intricate details of this property later on in the video. This is the living space of the home and it has so many features that I wanna share with you. Right here you can see we have this large oversized single slab Calcutta marble. There's no seams in this, but the thing that I love most about this island is the size and that it allows for people to sit here. It allows lots of people to stand around, lots of prep space for when you're cooking. And right next to it is this amazing breakfast nook that serves as a second dining space because it's right off of the kitchen. So nobody gets left out of conversations that happen when entertaining. So it's amazing. Another thing that I really liked about this area was the fact that it had a service door to access the outdoor kitchen and the pool area. In a lot of these custom homes, something that I have noticed is when you have these large stackable sliding glass doors that this house has, it does lend to great indoor outdoor space, but they're very cumbersome to use as daily exits and entrances to the backyard. So having this smaller sliding glass access door makes use of this kitchen and outdoor space a lot easier when having a barbecue or some sort of entertaining outside. As we move into the kitchen, I wanna talk about some more of these details. Um, we have some solid surface counters just to keep with the contemporary look of countertops 
because there's a very clean, solid color. So sometimes using these man-made surfaces actually do help with keeping a, a kitchen look modern. But when you're dealing with a custom home, you also have to keep in mind that using the higher end finishes and the real stone finishes are what you're going to really want to aim for. So mixing them together is always a good solution. Some other things I wanted to point out that are really important and nice convenience factors in a custom home is having two dishwashers. This house came equipped with two dishwashers and it does make a difference. A lot of people think, oh, you're so spoiled, you have two dishwashers. But when you're dealing with a home on this level, it is very standard to have not one, but two dishwashers. So something to look for when you are looking for your custom home. Another thing that I really found nice about this particular home is the way that they used the clean white lines with lighter grays to bring some contrast, but to, to still have it subtle and soft. So you could see they used this clean white backsplash and they used a stacked horizontal lay to keep it with the contemporary look. Another thing that is really important are the types of appliances that are put into these homes. And as you can see, this house has Wolf appliances. It has two and a half ovens, a wall oven, a full oven on the range, and a half oven on the range as well. Stainless steel is still pretty popular in the custom home realm, but it's also starting to lean more towards the um, cabinet panels covering refrigerators and any other appliances that they can. So cabinetry looks very seamless in that type of home. I still love the stainless steel appliances and I really love that gold has become the new chrome and silver um, finishes. So as you can see, in a lot of these higher end luxury homes, gold finishes on cabinets and plumbing fixtures have really started to make a comeback and they just really add a soft touch to the, to the design. Something I do want to point out that this house has is it has three laundry rooms. One of the laundry rooms is right here, right off of the kitchen area. And all of these rooms are on uh, motion sensors so that the lights turn off efficiently. But this is one of three laundry rooms. This one here, there's another one in the garage, which I can show you a little later. And there's another one upstairs, making it really easy to get all of your laundry and housekeeping done without having to run up and down stairs and through this 6,400 square foot home. While we're talking about the specs of this home, maybe I should go ahead and mention all of the details of this beautiful home we're standing in. So as you know, we're standing at 20 Skybird Court and this house is 6,431 square feet, five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, two offices, three laundry rooms, a four car garage with one that can accommodate an RV, a boat, or a toy hauler. That's why there's that third um, laundry room out there because when you're boating or when you're out with sand cars, you're gonna want to get rid of those dirty towels without bringing them through your house. And that's where that laundry room comes in and it's really convenient and nice to have. Okay, let's walk over here. Let's talk a little bit about this fireplace and some of the features that are going on in this living room that makes this a great entertaining space. So the first thing I want to point out is when you live in a modern home and when you live in a large home with all of these hard surfaces, there's a lot of echo that happens. So when the owner realized that the echo was as bad as it was, they had acoustic panels installed into the ceiling. So the ceiling above me and the ceiling in the bar over there and the ceiling in the breakfast nook where we just visited 
are all covered with acoustic paneling to dampen the sound. And it really does make a difference, especially when you are in entertaining upwards of 50 to 100 guests in this house with the doors wide open. It really helps so that people can actually hear each other talk instead of hearing the person across the room talk to them. Another thing I wanted to point out here was this really pretty fireplace. So the owner wanted the house to be modern and contemporary, but yet still have some soft features. And the way they did that was to bring in some organic materials and older materials mixed in with new materials. Right here on this fireplace, you can see this wood mantle is actually made of reclaimed wood. It's a big giant plank of wood that the designer found and sourced through a lumber yard and it was just stained to match basically the colors of the home. And if you look really closely on this fireplace, you'll see that this is actually old red brick. And these grout lines are just really wide cement grout lines. And the owner had them paint it white to make it look clean and new, yet still have some old world style mixed in to match the old reclaimed wood mantle. And then you can see right here, the hearth is made of a solid surface, clean white product that makes the fireplace look very clean and contemporary. If you look closely as well, that brick marries into the wine cellar that's just right next to this room, we'll get there, but the back of that wine cellar also has that same brick, making it a little softer than the cold metal sheeting and iron doors that it's actually made of. Another great feature this house has is all of this indoor outdoor living space. So I wanted to show you some of the little details they took when designing this space. As you can see, there are these nice big stackable glass doors that allow you to open up the living room into the outdoor area, making it one big space. And the way that they seamlessly took the inside to the outside by using this recessed track for the door and then taking the inside tile and bringing it outside really makes this space seem seamless and easy to use as an indoor outdoor space. And then they incorporated it again right here with the wet bar allowing all of this to open up to the outside so that you truly get to use the inside of the house while entertaining your guests. Again, as you can see here, they've carried through this Calcutta marble using only a few different finishes in this house which to me makes it flow a little nicer instead of having every single bedroom a different floor and a different countertop. They really try to keep the, the use of the same finishes with maybe a small tweak here or there. Like right here, you can see this marble is a little, it's polished a little higher than the kitchen island, which provides a little more texture that you can actually feel and not just see like the countertop in the kitchen. Another thing that I wanted to point out here was the use of wood. When the home was originally purchased, this bar top was actually another surface. I believe it was granite at the time. But as you can see, they brought in some more wood. This is not reclaimed wood. It was hand scraped giving it more texture and making it feel a little older than what it actually is. But it marries really well with the fireplace mantle reclaimed wood. Okay, let's head over to this wine cellar over here because I heard that this wine cellar took the owner about three years to make. And I would imagine it's because of how custom it is. As you can see, it's made out of sheets of gold metal the cables are suspended 
and hold the weight of all of the wine bottles. And it's fully climate controlled with air vents that are hidden on the side, which I absolutely love because you can't even tell where the cold air is coming from. The refrigeration unit of this wine cellar is actually outside, which makes this one of the quietest wine cellars I've ever heard. You don't ever hear the cooling unit kick on or anything, completely quiet. These steel doors are very heavy, solid steel and glass. Again, custom doors and taking three years to complete this entire unit. You can see the back of the wall of the wine here behind the wine. Again, is that white brick or the old red brick that was just painted white. So making these contemporary elements have a little bit of character by bringing in some old brick and some heavier old looking steel doors just kind of gives what could be a very cold contemporary glass encased wine cellar a little more character. So it, it, it really reached the goals that the, the seller and the designer were trying to create. Another thing that I did want to point out, because I mentioned in the beginning of the video that this house has some really cool architectural design features. And this wine cellar, although is a really cool architectural design feature in itself, something I want you to take note of is the use of all of the clean lines. You'll see these lines repeat throughout the house. They're used on all of the interior doors. The front door has just about this same design that also match the windows in the entryway and the glass garage doors, as well as the glass and steel side gate to the backyard. That was all designed and planned out by the original architect and the designer. And then as the new owner put new things in, tried to keep up with that same clean line design. And I think they did a really good job. Okay, let's go over to the second dining space. And I call it a dining space rather than a dining room because I feel like this house just has a one big complete flow of space, which makes it really nice for entertaining. So this door also is a stackable slider, as you can see, and it opens up and it really just creates this nice indoor outdoor entertaining flow of the house. As you exit the dining room and enter this courtyard with the fireplace, you can also access the pool, the side yard, and this really beautiful wet bar again. And your guests can all seamlessly communicate and interact with one another as you re-enter the house into the family and the kitchen area which really makes this one of the best indoor outdoor living spaces I've seen in a lot of the custom homes that I've been in. This house features a downstairs primary bedroom, which is really nice. It's also completely separate from the rest of the house. So the, above you in this primary is absolutely nothing. The second story of this house stops about right here, which makes the primary suite a true private primary suite. Let's go inside here and check out what this room looks like. Some of the design things to point out is the use of designer wallpaper throughout the house. I think it really gives it some warmth and character as well. And in this room, they chose a chevron printed uh, wallpaper that's also used just across the hall in the office, which we'll show you later, that's just a lighter shade, but the same exact wallpaper, which I think helps the house have more of that flow. Like I was talking about the use of less finishes. Less is more when you're designing modern 
And so using the same finish, but a different texture or color really does help with the ability for it to flow seamlessly as you walk throughout the property. So this room has features some split face stone on the fireplace wall and also has surround sound in its ceiling. Moving on to the spacious primary bath, I wanted to point out just a couple features. One of them is the designer wallpaper that's used throughout the bathroom. It's, it's designed to mimic a cement look wall. Very cool. And you'll see in this shower, it's also made of full slabs of Calcutta marble, which prevent any water seepage or um, problems of that nature, but it was installed as a design feature because full slabs in a custom home are almost standard or needed. So in this shower, it features dual shower heads, body sprayers, a rain head, and it is also a steam shower. Okay, let's go check out this closet because I know you ladies love the closet. This home features a very spacious closet and it is complete with built-ins. They put them almost up to the ceiling so that you can utilize the top racks for clothes that are not in season and there's plenty of storage cabinets, drawers, hampers on both sides, uh, full hangs. I don't think that this closet is missing anything. Something else I wanna point out in this bathroom is the fact that it does have a, Neo, a Toto Neo Rest toilet, as well as a urinal. Okay, let's move on to the last room downstairs. It's the office. But before we do, this is a good spot for me to kind of point out again, the use of all those lines in the house. The design from the architectural standpoint here is to me really amazing. It just keeps the house together and it seems like it was actually planned out versus being put together without a plan. So as you can see, this door is very similar to the door that's on the wine cellar, and it keeps those clean architectural lines with this door and the doors on the primary and the office as well. So as we walk into the office, I wanted to point out again, this chevron wallpaper that is the exact same in the primary, just a lighter shade. And in here, you can see there's lots of natural light flow. There's an automatic shade that comes down here in the office, and you get this gorgeous view of the front yard and the house in front of you. Okay, that is it for the first floor. We're ready to go check out upstairs. But if you're new to my channel, I wanted to introduce myself first. My name is Lisa Lopez, and I was born and raised in Las Vegas. I'm a real estate consultant specializing in luxury real estate. And for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go upstairs. Okay, so we finally made it upstairs. And up here, the loft is the center of everything. It makes for the perfect man cave, teen room, video game room, theater, you name it. It's perfect for hanging out. It is also equipped with its very own bathroom and it has another urinal. And as you can see, they're even touchless urinals. They flush on their own. So really good feature to have if you have little boys in your family. Um, I know the seller really enjoyed having them with her boys. And then the next big feature here is this bonus room. Um, the owner has it as a gym, 
but it, it could be used as a reading room, a yoga room, a wellness room, um, a second living room. There's a TV, a fireplace, an exit to the balcony, which wraps around to the back of the house and you can see the entire backyard from out there. It also has the nice big doors, which allow lots of natural light to flow in. Okay, let's go see the rest of the house. So over here, remember I said this house has two offices. This is actually considered the second office. The seller had it used as a music room, now is using it as a wellness room. And as you can see here, it has a nice slider on it as well that takes you right outside to the outdoors. So this room is really nice because you can use it again as another bonus room. Um, having the gym or wellness room and this room upstairs is really nice because they really are just two extra bonus rooms for the house. Um, another thing that I really like in this loft is the fact that it has this workspace where not one, but two people could be working side by side, which is nice if you have children or even if you don't wanna utilize the office space and would just rather use desk space while people are watching TV. So down this hall, we have our second laundry room. Remember I said there were three laundry rooms in this house, one was downstairs. Here's the upstairs laundry room. Just across from the laundry room are two of the secondary bedrooms that are up here. And each one of the bedrooms is en suite with a full bathroom. Each one, again, designed with nice contemporary finishes. And each room also has a walk-in closet. And here you can see the use of designer wallpaper throughout the house continues. Okay, so let's move to the other side of the upstairs to check out the other two secondary bedrooms. This bedroom is just a little bit different than the other rooms because it has this Juliet balcony overlooking the front of the house. But other than that, all four secondary bedrooms upstairs are pretty much the same. Each is en suite with a full bathroom and also features a walk-in closet that all have been finished with shelving, drawers, and hang space. And the last thing to point out up here, because it is a feature that you see in many custom homes, and that is a rack room. This rack room controls all of the televisions, any in-house music, Apple TVs, surround sound, you name it, it's all controlled right here. Let's go outside because some of the best features of this home are the indoor outdoor living space. So I'm sure you can't wait to check out what this half acre yard has to offer. Okay, we finally made it to my absolute favorite thing about this house. And that is all this indoor outdoor living space that I keep talking about because this backyard is absolutely amazing. Check out this space. Could you imagine having a party with family and friends gathered in this space, able to get drinks from the bar, food from the kitchen, jump in the pool when you're ready, and even go down your very own slide into your 10 foot deep pool. I don't know if you know what caliche is, but there's a lot of caliche in the Las Vegas area, which makes digging pools difficult, especially deep ones. And I know that here in the ridges, they didn't only have caliche, they actually had granite boulders in the ground that made digging these deep pools very difficult. And now with the Las Vegas water restrictions, having a pool this size is not even legal. So if you want one this big and this deep, you need to buy a resale. And you could just buy this house. Besides this great pool with an awesome slide, this backyard features 
an amazing outdoor kitchen that's completely undercover. So rain or shine, you can barbecue for your family and friends. And when it's cold out, it also features three infrared heaters that are built in to the ceiling of this kitchen. And what better way to end your day than with a little hoop practice? Yay, got it! <laughs> okay, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified each time I drop a new video. I'll see you on the next one.